YouTube, what's going on? I'm back with another video. Very happy to be bringing you this video, mostly because just got back from a long day of work outside, and it is a scorcher today in New York. That classic humidity. Oh, this is not the nice time of year to live in New York. Anyway, as you can see by the title of this video, today I've got a double mail day. I honestly do not know what are in these. What's in these packages? Obviously, it can't be like anything because I know that I've ordered a few different things, but I don't know 100%. Uh, I got these yesterday, but we had company at the house yesterday, so I wasn't able to open them. But let's get right into it uh, with this first one, this smaller one here, and we will see. I'm gonna. I didn't cross out the address, so I'm just gonna hide the address. Here we go. The first bubble mailer. Ah, yes. This is this is from a box break. Uh, shout out to 702 Breakers. That's who I broke with. I actually bought the Diamondbacks, a cheap team, and it turned out well for me, at least decent, because uh, I did get a hit. It was Topps Inception, and I got a Braden Shipley auto. It's a good looking on card rookie auto, Braden Shipley. 183 of 249. Not quite sure if you can see that. Braden, who was recruited to the University of Nevada as a shortstop, was sent to the mound as a sophomore in 2012. That summer, he was named the top prospect in the Alaska League, setting him up to become the highest, his school's highest ever MLB draft pick. And it's a really nice top loader. So there's the hit. Other than that, nothing. I mean, two thick, nice base cards. Inception is very nice, as you can see, pretty thick. Uh, we got the Paul Goldschmidt base, and then a green AJ Pollock base. It's green and blue. Uh, neither is numbered, but those are two very nice cards. And, of course, the auto. So, thank you to 702 Breakers. And now the second package, and this one I'm even less sure about. Very thick, a lot of cards in here. Don't know what I got unless it's. Oh, wow! Nice. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, this guy actually sent me the card in a mag, which he did not have to do, but that is awesome. Let me just unwrap it here before I show you guys. And once again, there is a price on it. I'm gonna try to take it off. I did not pay the price that is on the mag. All right. Here is my favorite card so far in the Landon Collins PC. It is the green and blue Cracked Ice Panini Prism rookie card autograph Landon Collins. And if you can see there, 5 of 50. This card I re really caught my eye. I was able to negotiate and get a pretty good price for it. Really wanted it and man... That is just a beauty right there. The Landon Collins 5 of 50 auto. It's nice looking. The cracked ice is one of my favorite looks in terms of like, you know, refractor type cards. You can I'm trying to move it around here so you can kind of see the effect. But there it is. Sent it in a mag. Thank you so much. Dustin. It's the guy I bought it from on eBay. This card is awesome. Kind of want to take it out of the Mag, but I'm scared. Right, just quickly take it out of the mag for a sec. Everything looks good. Look at that. There's a better look at the cracked ice. So, yeah, this is my new favorite card for the PC, and I will keep it in the mag. That's it for this video, guys. I just did the two mail days, or one big mail day, for me at least. I know some people on YouTube, you know, their big mail days are like 17 packages. That's not me. I'm a college student. I work a part-time job in retail, so I'm not going to be having 17 packages come on one day anytime soon. But then, besides that, thanks for watching. Uh, once again, just to recap what I got, of course, the Landon Collins Cracked Ice beautiful card out of 50, the two base cards from Topps Inception Box Break, and the Braden Shipley rookie card on card auto out of 249. 
Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a good day. If you do live in New York, stay out of this heat. It is unbearable right now. And my next video, probably going to be fantasy football related. I want to get back into some early season fantasy football talk.